Hello world, Darren Peck here at Recrevida. So as you can tell from the lighting levels here, we're on that grind again, working late into the evening to try and get some stuff out as we transition from the digital nomad world into working full time and also running the business part time. So we've been planning this for a while. Uh, originally we took the sabbatical or gap year uh, at the end of December uh, 2022. And we're planning for a one year period of being a digital nomad as well as traveling the world, pursuing one of our lifelong goals of, of seeing the world. Uh, and that has elongated to about an 18 month period now, um, part, in part due to the success of the business and being able to be a digital nomad and getting into that space. Um, but also due to um, holding out for the right opportunity for us. Um, the plan was always to go back to a full-time job as well as run the business on the side. And I've just been a bit more selective about um, what company I want to work for, where I want to work, what work I want to be doing. So I'm glad to say that I'll be starting a full-time position on May 7th as a senior low-carbon consultant for Keir Consult. So we're working all around the UK. I'll be um, based remotely, but working and supporting client and construction sites all around the UK. Very much looking forward to getting back into the full time work and the level of um, complexity and challenge that will be afforded to me in this new role. Um, but uh, with regards to the business, we'll be keeping running the business. Um, we will be scaling back some of the work that we're doing and we'll be a lot more selective about the work that we take on. We're trying to balance out the triangle at the moment. So trying to get a bit more work in the personal development and well-being space. And we're also trying to be a lot more selective, like I said, about the work that we do take on. So we will be... Um, choosing work that is um, consummate with our level of experience and expertise. We will be a lot more selective about the work that we're taking on now as we are transitioning to a full-time work and running the business on the side. And although we are a um, limited company and we are obviously for profit, we're a purpose-driven business. So we want to do projects and, and work with people that excite us, that challenge us and also give back into the world give back to people uh, and embody the morals and ethics that we have as an organization so we'll be as I say a lot more selective we'll be uh, ensuring that we are um, getting a good um, remuneration for the fantastic outputs that we deliver um, and we will also be more selective about what work we take on in terms of stuff that's going to challenge us, help us grow as a business, support our existing network of colleagues and businesses that we've worked with in the past. And um, yeah, looking for things that are actually going to push the envelope and that people are interested in doing valuable work. Um, we're not in the business of doing mediocre, mediocre work, providing mediocre outputs. Um, it's just, just not part of our DNA. So we will be a lot more selective, as I say, around that. Um, but yeah, uh, in terms of our existing client base and how we're going to be supporting projects going forward, we are putting in some coping strategies and mechanisms for that. So part of that process, we've onboarded a social media and marketing consultant and they'll be doing a lot of work around efficiency of, of what we put out, making sure that we are getting that message out there so we can win good and interesting, exciting work. And just generally being a lot more productive of what we do, um, time in versus time out. Obviously, the majority of people are time poor, so just trying to maximise our efficiency, um, which is something that we're all about in terms of the personal development space. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about the business where we're transitioning to. Um, we've got a volunteer currently on at the moment who's helping us out with with some of the more background stuff at the moment, and. Um, yeah, we're, we're just trying to keep going, keep, keep growing as a business and keep doing the good work and fighting the good fight. So that's a little bit from me, the founder of Recrovida Limited, Darren Peck. Um, Recrovida, rejuvenate life out.